Hello, my name is McKenna Bischoff, and today I'm going to do my persuasive reflection vlog over my persuasive speech, which I gave earlier. And my topic was um, why everyone should have an equal opportunity of living without abuse. I chose this topic because I wanted to get a point across the point that I feel no matter your size or age or color or race, everyone should have an equal opportunity of living without a without abuse so and that's one thing that our society fails with or sometimes has a struggle with in helping prevent and stop people from getting abused and that's what another reason why I wanted to make this my topic um how I felt going into it I felt pretty confident going into it, but after re-watching it, I could definitely pick out some things that I think I should have worked on, or there was things of rooms for improvement, and one of the main things that I think I could improve on is I didn't have a lot of organization. I was just like, I need to talk about this and this and this, and I think I needed to have more organization because that was definitely lacking, which probably turned my audience away or kind of made them lack in what they actually believe what I'm saying and how valid and strong my speaker ethos were. And, um, yeah, my technology was pretty good. Um, it's just a computer which has great sound and great video. It's just mostly preparing myself to make sure that I can be the best that I can be and give the best speech that I could possibly give. And uh, like I said before, what could be done differently, it's in the past now, but I think I could have probably prepared myself a little more or included some more stories. I felt like I also repeated myself a lot, which could be lack of information, lack of organization, and maybe not including all the factors that I researched or got more knowledge on. And with my audience, everyone is different. Everyone's always going to have a different opinion. But when considering your audience, you have to think about who you're presenting to, how they're going to react, and if they have maybe been through the certain situation. In my situation, no one has been through abuse or had problems with it, but they all supported me and could tell where I was coming from and supported all my points as to why I think everyone should have an equal opportunity of living without abuse, which is awesome because that made me feel comfortable and confident giving my speech in front of them, knowing that they had my back and they were interested in the topic and that they were willing to listen and put forth their time to listen to me speak about my opinion. Um, one thing I think that worked was I was really confident, and like I said, I went into it confident, but after watching it again, my organization was lacking, and probably some of my research I probably could have gone a little deeper into, so I was often repeating myself, which is something that I'll work on and improve on throughout the year. Although the semester is almost done, I think there's always room for improvement after every speech, and you can always look back and be like, wow, I need to work on that. Or for next speech, let's work on that. And that's one thing that I think I need to work on. And for my ceremonial speech, I'll be able to nail that and have more of an organization pattern and be confident in myself. Um, overall, I think I did pretty good. Like I said, you can't always convince everyone of your opinion and everyone's always going to have a different opinion. But I think I picked a pretty good topic where most people would be on my side that everyone should have an equal opportunity of living without abuse but I mean there's always those people that are like no 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 and always find ways to bring your um effects down or try to prove you wrong so I feel pretty good about my citable sources and that I did a good job with my research so that's my reflection on my persuasive speech vlog thank you